welcome to week 13 of NIWFA television, which this week is a Divisional Cup semi-final special. As ever the levels of excitement leading up to semi-final week were at fever pitch, with this being a chance for some clubs to turn around a disappointing season into a memorable one, whilst for others hopes of League and Cup doubles were still very much alive. Our featured game this week sees us take in the North 2 Divisional Cup semi-final between Chimney Corner Ladies and Lawn Ladies, and with both of these teams currently battling it out at the top of their league, we were hoping for a cracking cup semi-final. With hopes of a League and Cup double very much on the line for both sides, this promised to be a high quality cup semi-final. And the good news is that is exactly what we got on the night, as it proved to be a superb game of football. Here's the highlights.
Colin? Have you managed to catch your breath yet? Just about. That was a really, really exhilarating and exciting game of football, to be honest. Mm-hmm. I would go as far to say it's the best game I've covered so far this season on IWFA TV. Cracking game of football. Both sides played really, really on the night. Some great goals, end-to-end stuff, and they went right to the wire, to be honest. It was just unfortunate one side had to lose. Yeah, so it was 4-3 four, four, to Lauren yeah. in the end. Mm-hmm. Disappointing for Chimney Corner to lose their keeper, Leanne Glass. Yeah, I think that was a big turning point of the game. At that stage, they were 2-1 up. Uh, the ball went through Leanne, came, came out of her, off her line. Before she got injured, as she made her way out, she had to be substituted. And uh, that not only meant that they were putting an outfield player in the net, so it also means their sort of shape had lost its, lost its way a little bit at the back. So, you know, mm-hmm. defender had to go into sort of nets and things like that there. Uh, fair play to Georgia Crawford. She stepped up from the free kick that was rewarded at that same time and scored an absolute fantastic equaliser and that sort of gave Lauren the impetus though Chimney Corner to the credit fought back took the lead again but unfortunately they were just undone so in the end Okay well it was, it was a match that ended with mixed emotions from both teams but here at NIWFA we caught up with both captains from Chimney Corner ladies it was Natalia Langton and from Lauren ladies it was Shelley James here's how they got on I think before the game we knew that from the first game we played him we knew there was a tough side, they were strong, they were physical, you know, they had power up front, they could score goals. We've kept an eye on the results because we've both been at the top and we knew we had to dig deep, we knew we had to take chances, but so did they and we both did. It was 4-3, it could have gone either way. Obviously being on the right side of the result absolutely made up, but, you know, I think in the second half, credit to them, they come out so quick, come out a better team. We just dug for each other, four, and I think the determination of the team and the willingness that we have together came through in the end. So I'm proud of every single one of them. Um, well, we put it behind us because it's the league, like you said, or sorry, it's the cup, like you said, doesn't affect our league at all. We've still got two games before we play, Lauren. We only focus on the next game. There's no point seeing what they're doing um, because that'll just throw us off. We've been winning. We're, that's Tonight's the first game that we've been beating this season. So um, we'll go for it again. We'll go again next week against St Oliver Plunkett and try and bounce back from this. And they're chasing us at the end of the day. So we just keep going, setting the pace, and they have to catch up to us. Can you hear us? Because it's not just me. It's women all across Northern Ireland, building in strength, skill and numbers. Breaking barriers, testing limits. A quiet revolution with a strong confidence. With the support of those who guide us, challenge us and help us grow, we will change the game. You might underestimate us, but we are resilient. Can you hear us? Because you will. We are the game changers. Electric Ireland, proudly supporting women's football in Northern Ireland. So it's now time to catch up with the results from all the rest of the NIWFA action that took place this week. Before we do, however, Tierna, it's been a few weeks since you're in. I understand you've been off with the Northern Ireland under-19 ladies team. I have. Um, obviously, recently I took part in my goalkeeping diploma. Mm-hmm. Um, so to gain a bit of experience, I was invited by Alfie to come and work with the girls uh, on their trip to Leeds, where right. they played a home nations tournament. So they played against Republic of Ireland and England, mm-hmm. came up away with two cracking results. Mm-hmm. Um, both games ended with a draw, but girls stepped up and won both penalty kick competitions. Fantastic experience, great to see the development of the girls game mm. at that level and just great to get experience under my belt. Two years ago, keeping coach, she's won two penalty shootouts. You taking a bit of credit for that? Well, I don't like to brag too much, but <laughs> well. it was great, no, it was great feeling coming home, it was a great experience. So. Well, congratulations, that was a really, really good performance by the, yourself and the girls, of course. Okay, it's time now, let's have a look at those results. Before we round up the various results from around the Divisional Cup semi-finals this week, let's look first of all at the Championship, with the big news coming out that East Belfast ladies have lost at home to Killen Rangers ladies. This result means that Cumberreg ladies have been crowned champions of the Championship for 2018. On behalf of NIWFA Television, we offer all the players, staff and supporters of Cumberreg our congratulations on a truly magnificent one. Well done to everyone. Elsewhere, it's also congratulations to the ladies of Linfield Swifts, whose victory over Sion Swifts Reserves ensures that they are crowned champions of the Northern Ireland Women's Football Association Electric Ireland Under-19 League for this season. Well done to all at Linfield Swifts ladies. There are also fine wins in that division for Crusader Strikers Reserves and Glentorn Women Reserves. 
Turning our attentions now to the NIWFA Divisional Cup competitions. In the Championship Divisional Cup, there was a shock when Ballymena All Stars travelled and defeated Cumber Rec Ladies by four goals to one to move into the final. And in that final, they will take on Carn Money Ladies, who had a superb win over Lisburn Ladies on Friday night. The South 1 Divisional Cup final will be between Downpatrick, who defeated Balna Hinch Ladies, and St James's Swifts, who defeated Belfast Celtic. And if that game produces a replay of the recent league game that we featured between the sides, it promises to be a superb match. The semi-finals in North 1 saw victories for Crew United and Foyle Bells at the expense of Mid Ulster and Armagh City. Although Foyle did have to go to a penalty shootout before securing their place in the showcase event. Well done to both teams. South 2 final this season will feature Bally McCash Young Ladies and Belfast Swifts, both of whom have only made their debuts in the NIWFA this season, so well done to both on a fantastic achievement. In the North 2 Divisional Cup semi-finals, as we saw earlier, Larn Ladies narrowly defeated Chimney Quarter and Ladies 4-3, and in the final they will now take on Shamrock Ladies, who had a superb win by winning 4-1 over the Ladies of Carn Money Athletic. So that completes this week's roundup on what has been a truly amazing week of women's football here in Northern Ireland. Not half. I think it's time for me just to go down to a darkened room and have a good lie down to recover from this week. It's been mad. There's crazier to come. Finals week. Finals week? Yep, five finals in one week. Okay. In all seriousness, that promises to be an absolutely cracking week of uh, finals for, for the ladies as it brings the season to a, a really great conclusion. 27th of August is the week for those finals and we'll be covering them all here on NIWFA television. Again, thank you very much for watching our show and for supporting women's football in Northern Ireland. Until the next time, don't forget... Girls, girls get, get football! football.